the Western world, we tend to think of God as a transcendent force that exists outside of ourselves and the physical world. But what if God is not a separate entity, but rather an intrinsic presence that is intimately connected to everything in our world? What if God is water? Water is a powerful force of nature that sustains all life on Earth. Our bodies are made of mostly water and we depend on it for our survival. Without water, there would be no plants. No animals. and no humans. Water is everywhere, flowing in rivers and streams and falling from the sky as rain. It is a fundamental aspect of our world and it's in every living thing. If we consider God as water, it opens up a new way of understanding our relationship with the divine. Rather than thinking of God as a separate entity that we must reach out to, we can view God as a presence that is already within us and all around us. We can find God in the flowing river, the crashing waves, and the gentle rain. We can experience God in the coolness of a glass of water. The concept of God as water is not new. In many ancient cultures, water was seen as a sacred element that was imbued with spiritual significance. In Hinduism, water is used in purification rituals and is associated with the god Vishnu. In Buddhism, Water is seen as a symbol of purity and clarity. In Christianity, water is used in baptism, and Jesus is referred to as the living water that gives eternal life. The concept of God as water can also be interpreted in a more metaphorical sense. Water has many qualities that we might associate with a divine presence. It is gentle. powerful, flowing, yet still. It can be both transparent and reflective, and it can take on many forms. Water can be like a calm lake, a raging river or a powerful waterfall. Just as water is essential to our survival, so too is God essential to our spiritual well-being. Ultimately, the concept of God as water challenges us to rethink our understanding of the divine. It encourages us to find God in the beauty of the natural world to recognize our responsibility to protect it.